Hey guys, I'm Mr. Bison and I have been a maths and further maths teacher for the last 10 years. I've also got a YouTube channel that you're on right now, which has got hundreds of videos for everything that can help you with maths and further maths at A level. But hopefully you've come here today to find out whether further maths is the right subject for you to take at A level. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through the grade requirements, the course structure, and give you some other tips and advice about how you might approach making this decision. So lots of schools are going to have a higher entry requirement for your GCSE grade to be able to get you into the further maths course. At my school, it's a grade seven. In other schools, it's possibly going to be a grade eight. So it's just worth bearing that in mind. Well, why is it that people want to take further maths? Really, you have to absolutely love studying maths if you want to take further maths. It is a very difficult and complicated subject. And if you don't have that passion and commitment there, I think you're not going to get on very well with this subject. For example, I have got here two different differential equations questions. One of them is from regular maths and one of them is from further maths. Hopefully you can see that the one from maths has got less working, less demanding stuff that is required than this very long question from the one from further maths. Now that doesn't mean to say that it's too hard and it's too scary. It just means that this is an A-level that requires quite a lot of commitment and quite a lot of work that will go into it. So what is the core structure of further maths? Well, 50% of it comes from these two areas called core pure one and core pure two. Core pure is basically the, co the compulsory content that all further maths students need to take. The other 50% comes from two options modules. And I've had a few people asking me about how these option modules break down. In some schools, you can pick them. In other schools, it will just be the modules that are provided. So the content of core pure is actually quite different to the content of pure in regular maths. Most of the things go broader, meaning you're learning lots of new things like complex numbers, matrices, polar coordinates. But some of the things go deeper than normal maths. So you'll be doing some things on further integration and further differential equations. So further maths isn't just maths, but harder. It's maths, but with some extra things added on as well as a bit harder. So there are eight different options modules and they each have the first and second version of them. There's further pure, one and two, further statistics, one and two, further mechanics, one and two, and also decision, one and two as well. When you pick these modules, you have to do one of the one modules. And if you want to, for your second module, you can either do its follow-up module, number two, or you can pick another number one module. So for example, you could do further pure one and further statistics one, or you could do further pure one and further pure two, but you couldn't do further pure one and further mechanics two. You have to do the, the matching pair if you're gonna do both of them. My general advice is that doing two of the one options is better than doing the one and the two. This is because the two option tends to be a bit more challenging. Further mechanics two is harder than further mechanics one. Further statistics two is much more challenging than further statistics one. So my advice, if you're trying to aim for those top grades, is to try and do two of the one modules. Now, people always want to know what kinds of things are in these modules. So Further Pure One has got lots of things in it like vectors and conics and some pretty tricky kind of pure stuff. I usually recommend the Further Pure modules for people who are very good at algebraic manipulation and who can spot shortcuts with algebra. I recommend further statistics one if you're better with worded kinds of questions. Statistics questions tend to have quite a lot of worded stuff that you need to be able to break down and translate it into the kinds of skills that you're looking to try and answer. I'd recommend doing decision one, which is um, D1, if you're interested in computer science and you're really good with algorithms and thinking about how you might program things together as that's kind of the area that it looks at. And last of all, my favorite one that I would recommend is further mechanics one. This is really good if you're quite good with um, common sense and if you've maybe identified that you've got quite a brain that's good at looking at things like physics. Um, it's also really good if you want to just explore a few areas really deeply. And in further mechanics, the topics that we explore are collisions and energy. In terms of the amount of time that most schools give to this, most schools have five hours of lessons. Some schools may have a little bit less and the amount of homework you're gonna have is very, very, very high, which is why earlier on I said, you have to love this subject because your commitment levels need to be absolutely tip top. If you're gonna be studying further maths, I really, really recommend having the graphics calculator. It is way more powerful and it's gonna help you to be able to understand the concepts being taught to you way more deeply. Also, it does some really neat shortcuts that will save you a lot of time when you're in exams as well. 
The question I get asked the most is, should you be scared of doing further maths? Well, it depends. If you love maths, and if you've already been working at a grade eight or grade nine when you're in GCSE, then I don't think you should be scared. I think you'll really rise to the challenge and enjoy all of the things that are out there. Plus, if you get stuck, you've got my YouTube channel full of video tutorials that will help you with things that you might get stuck on right down the, to the specific exercises in the textbook. But maybe you should be scared because you're not that interested in maths and maybe you haven't achieved very highly in maths so far, in which case you might want to reconsider whether further maths is the right thing for you. Personally, it's the thing that got me inspired to want to teach maths. I absolutely love it and it's helped me to look at the world in lots and lots of different ways. So if it's something you're interested in, I wish you the best of luck and I think you should pick it. If you like this video, please do drop it a like. Check out the other videos that I've got on my channel. You also might like to see the video, Should I Take Maths at A Level? Have a great summer. Well done for finishing all your assessments this year, year 11, and I hope to see you soon.